Hello, my name is Ralph Garcia, and I'm a professional truck driver with 37 years experience on the road with 3.5 million miles of safe driving. Today, you're going to have the opportunity to hear firsthand from professional truck drivers how to maneuver around a truck safely. First of all, let's go over some tips before we get started. Never cut in front of a truck. Give us enough room. Second, stay out of the blind spots around a truck. Third, have enough cushion behind us. Don't follow too closely so you have enough time to stop. Also, trucks make wide right turns. Give us enough space to do those turns. And if you break down on the side of the road, make sure you get far enough off the road that you're safe. And last but not least, distract your driving. Don't text and drive. Stay off that phone. Let's get started, and we're going to hear from our drivers. Hey, I'm Alan Boyd. I've been driving trucks professionally for 35 years. I know I don't look that old, right? Scratch that, don't answer. What I've learned is the right side of this truck is the largest blind spot we have. This blind spot can actually go over three lanes wide. I can lose a whole tractor and trailer. So it's very important when you get in this position to get yourself out as quickly as you can. Did you know that 35% of all car truck related accidents, the car is in the truck driver's blind spot? Well, it's true. And how do you know that you're in the blind spot? In this position, it's very important to make sure you can see that driver's smiling face in the mirror. If you can't see that truck driver's smiling face in the mirror, he can't see you. Remember, when that truck moves over to the left lane to let you off a ramp, that brings you out into this position, and that's okay. Make sure you slow down a little bit, allow the truck time to get back in front of you, and that allows everybody to pass on the left where it's a lot safer. Remember to make good decisions when you drive. Hi, I'm Alfonso Lewis. I've been a professional truck driver for 28 years, have 1.4 million safe driving miles. And today I want to talk to you about the rear blind spot of a tractor trailer. First of all, I want to tell you where I do not want you. I don't want you tailgating me. You know why? If I make a sudden stop, guess where you may end up? It's right here. I don't want you there. One other thing, I'm a big guy and I drive a pretty big truck. If there's an object in the road, I can straddle it. And if I straddle it and it comes out and you don't see it, you will not have time to react. Think about that object as an alligator. You don't want that alligator to bite you. So I want you 20 car lengths behind me where I can see you. If you can see my mirror, you're in a safe spot where I can see you and you can see me. And that's where I want you at. Hello, my name's Don Biggerstaff. I'm a professional truck driver. I've been in the industry for 37 years and have accumulated 1.4 million safe driving miles. And I'm here today to tell you about one of the blind spots that we have on the truck. The left side, the driver's side. We see you best out of this side from our vantage point in the truck. And this is the side that we want you to pass us on. But I need to make it clear, we do have a small blind spot located about where this car is, right behind the driver's seat in the truck. If you're in this position, we could lose you in our mirror and not see you. So if you find yourself in this spot beside the truck, we want you to safely maneuver on around us. That keeps us safer and you safer. And really, that's what the Share the Road program is all about. This is the front end of the truck. The worst thing you could do is cut in front of a truck. Rule of thumb, look in your rear view mirror and when you can see the whole truck in that mirror, that's the time to come over. That usually puts you 10 car lengths in front of our vehicle. Your car usually weighs 4,000 pounds and fully loaded, this semi could weigh up to 80,000 pounds. And going 60 miles an hour, it could take the length of a football field and two end zones to stop. So what you're telling me, Ralph, then, is that if I'm driving a 4,000 pound car, That'd be 20 times my weight. That's right. That'd be like a 200 pound wrestler wrestling a man weighing 4,000 pounds. Exactly. Kind of like me wrestling you. <laughs> As a professional driver, I use every means possible to see out of my vehicle. Of course, I don't have the luxury of looking in a rear view mirror like you do in a car or throwing my arm over the seat and looking at the back windshield. I have to use the tools that's been given me, 
my windshields and my mirrors to see what I need to see. That's why this front windshield is so important. It's like my big screen television. It allows me to see what's going on out in front of me. Two other important tools that I have are my mirrors on each side, outside of the truck. I have my right mirror, which allows me to see a narrow path down the right side of my trailer. However, not two, three, and four lanes over. The mirror on my left-hand side, with head movement, I can see better out of that one, which is the side we want you to pass us on. No matter what I'm doing, I have to focus on my driving. And that's what we want you to do. If we all stay focused on the highway, it'll be a much safer place for all of us. Distracted driving is just as dangerous as drunk driving. Distractions in your car could be eating, drinking, could be talking to someone, and most common ones are on your phone or texting. Did you know if you travel 60 miles per hour for six seconds distracted that you have actually went the length of a football field? What we want you to do is concentrate on your job, and that's driving. You know, we had a lot of fun doing this video and I hope you got the understanding that we're very proud of our record and we're very passionate about safety. And we've interjected some humor to make it fun. However, when you're driving, there is one place that you absolutely must keep your focus and that's in a construction zone. You know, a construction zone is simply a temporary inconvenience for a major improvement. You know, those guys that are working on that road are working on that road for one reason and that's to make the highway safer. There's a couple things you need to remember when you're going into construction zone. Number one, always obey the speed limit. That speed limit is set in place for everybody's safety. Also, the solid white lines are there so that nobody crosses that solid white line. It's very important never to tailgate and especially not in a construction zone. Because in construction zones, things happen quickly. And the last thing you want is to run into the back of somebody because something happened in front of them. Remember, every one of those construction workers are mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, and they all want the same thing that you and I do. And no matter who you are, whether you drive a truck, drive a car, or work in that construction zone, everybody's goal is to make the most important trip, the trip home, safely.